Welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. This is Josh. Hi. This is a lot of junk. Not a lot of junk, it's a lot of plane. Plane. Yes. A lot of plane. One man's junk is another man's treasure. Or or airplane for that matter. Is that right? That's right. That's, that's what this whole show is about, is, is taking this and making something awesome out of it. Alright, yeah, we're going to build a Franken plane today. We're going to take a bunch of broken up, busted pieces yes. and put together some kind of mutant freak of a plane. Yes. That will actually fly. And why are we doing that? Because we can. No, because we're cheap. Right. Yes. I have a three-year-old son, and for the first year of his life, I was positive that we were buying reusable diapers. So I washed them and reused them. Turns out, my wife let me know that they were not. They were just normal pampers. That's creepy. So. I'll tell you, friends, I have not always been blessed with having lots of planes to play with, and uh, thanks to this wonderful opportunity, I am now. But in the past, we did do some crazy things. Um, when I was about... Got careless. Huh? I wasn't gonna say careless, but what do you call this? I wasn't the best pilot back when I was young, and when I crashed an airplane, I didn't have the money to go out to buy a new one. Mm -hmm. One time, I was left with the uh, remnant of a half a size. That's an 049 size uh, wing, and I didn't have any fuselage to go on, but I did have a good tail feathers. I ended up taking a uh, pop bottle, believe it or not, making a fuselage, popping some booms out there, and uh, I got a plane flying again, and it flew really good. Cool. And yeah. people looked at me weird too. Well, you don't want to do anything half a. Yeah. But well, what are we gonna pick out from this pile? Well, that's the thing, is we want to obviously try to find the things that are proportional. Obviously, you don't want a small wing with a big yeah, tail or a right. small tail with a big wing. Well, I, I think the best thing right now is to find the fuselage. Correct. And generally what I do is, is I want the tail to be roughly about a third the size of the wing. Uh, smaller or bigger, it's up to you, but that, that's a general rule of thumb. That one's probably not going to work, huh? I don't think so. No. Too small? Too small. <laughs> Cast it to the side. I see this one here. This shows some promise. I mean, we could definitely use this for our plane. It doesn't even look banged up. No, it's actually one that we uh, it's haven't perfect really dish. done much to. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. I don't know how the rest of it is, but let's go and put that over there. Let's put it Maybe we'll aside. consider that one. Okay. Let's look at our other few sludges here. Right. So what do we got here? What about this? Hey, I like it. It's made out of balsa, it right? It has that World War One feel. It's a, a fuselage of an SE5. That's good, right? Which sounds good. Yeah, it's, it's nice and long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a, a nice, decent airfoil. And, and one thing, brother, I don't want to be able to get this thing up in the air. You need some common factors that will make a plane fly well. I don't want to just get something that will fly because it's propped right. Or, because we can. Yeah, because we can, or it takes a, a real hard uh, level of experience. We want, I want something you to be able that can fly. Flies. That flies good. That's stable, that flies like it's manufactured, absolutely. Okay. So let's go ahead and I think this right. is our, our candidate we'll put this here. This side. Yeah, that's good. All right, there's some key factors we need to really take into account, okay? Mm -hmm. We got lift. We got center of gravity. Thrust. And we got thrust. You're nice. absolutely right. So we're not gonna wanna put things on that fuselage over there that are gonna throw off CG. Mm -hmm. Okay, obviously thrust we can we can take care of the motor later. Right. But we want things in proportion to each other. Yes. Okay, that'll take care of our CG. Do you wanna take a guess what this is? That's a wing. That is a wing. And I see Oh, we have the other one. I see another one here. Great. Fantastic. And uh, I don't see much damage on it. It looks like it probably has a nose in. Okay. And uh, I think this would be a good candidate. Alright. And uh, what do you think about this for the tail? Yeah, it's roughly uh, well, it's a little bit smaller than one third the size. It's pretty close but, uh, though. Same color and everything. Why don't throw that over there? All right, all right. And okay. uh, well, this is a little bit excessive on the rudder side, so no. Um, too small. Too small. We're not durable enough. Really quick. Not durable. That's a little harsh, don't you think? It's not durable enough. This one looks promising. It's roughly a third the size of the wing. Okay. And I, I see a problem. There's no uh, there's no elevator on it. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and throw that over with the main pile. I think we'll keep this. All right. All right, let's see what we got. All right, friends, here's what we got. We got a fuselage, all right? We got a uh, two meter uh, polydihedral wing. Polydihedral meaning we have three brakes in the wings. And it looks to be in really, really good shape too, which I like. Look at that. Nice and, nice and firm. All right. Okay. Obviously it's gonna be a low wing because I don't wanna go through the trouble of uh, putting, it through here. putting it through there or making stress to go on the top. Sure. So uh, low wing, uh, sailplane pretty much, or, or motor glider. Never done one before, but I think it'll work. We will have to cut this out though. Yeah, we'll, we'll either have to make this bigger or make this smaller. We'll, we'll figure that out oh. later. All right, first option's that bad boy. Mm -hmm. Although I think it's more proportional, I think it's a little it's flimsy. It's kind of flimsy, isn't it? We could uh, reinforce it maybe with some carbon fiber. It could very, yeah, but I, I still don't think that's gonna be good enough to you. Yeah, I don't think so either. Okay. I, I think this is our candidate here. Hey, it's been fun. Yeah. We'll see you. 
No, don't throw it away yet. We may need that. Now, what's our problem that I was telling you about this? What, what's Cheap your skate. guess on, on the problem being with this? Uh, it doesn't match. Look at this. Oh, yeah, red and green, kind of Christmassy. But, but what do you see? What's wrong with the elevator? What do we need on that? There's no... There, right now, it's just move. a stabilator, isn't yeah. it? But you know what I think we can do? Hmm. I think we can modify this and uh, push uh, aeronautics to the extreme and make it a full flying stabilator. Okay. All right? The whole thing? The whole thing. Make the whole wow. thing pivot to, uh, to act as a stabilizer in an elevator. That's going to be some throws. Hey, it, it adds some engineering, adds some fun. Okay. Oh, we need a rudder. We need a rudder. Absolutely. A dur. A rudder. Rudder. No, I, I didn't see very many candidates in here, but you no. know what? Where's that? Uh, grab that one right there. Right here? Yeah, grab that. He's a little guy. He is a little fella. But you know, all in proportion, it looks pretty darn good. Well, we have a lot of things to figure out now. Now, okay. basically what we're gonna do now is we got our rough design, we got roughly what we want. We gotta take care of, like I said, balance, mm -hmm. thrust, thrust, and- And lift. And lift. Lift. So we need to take care of these, we need to figure out these work, and luckily, if any of them don't work, I imagine we can find something to pile it well. Okay. All right? All right, let's well, do this. let's take it and put it together. Yeah, I'll grab the pieces. To the basement. Plane. It's alive. It's alive. Yes. We used a two meter sailplane wing with polydihedral. Uh, as you notice, there's no ailerons on it. I noticed this that. This is a simple three channel airplane, but the nice thing about polydihedral, it actually gives a self riding effect because every time the wing rocks up, this wing loses lift, this wing gains lift, and it brings it right back again. Gotcha. So it's a very stable platform. Mm -hmm. Now the tail is uh, one of Chad's home builds. I think, weren't you just learning how to stick build, Chad? Yep. And uh, you probably noticed what we did here though. We, cut, we, we had to cut into this here? Yeah, actually this was where the original fin went. Right. We didn't want this to be too short coupled because it'd be real pitchy and not very stable. We yeah. wanted to lengthen it out. So I was actually, there when we did this. I yeah. I actually cut it. Yeah, you did good too. Yeah. All right, we got a monster motor in the front. We have a 3542 1100 oh, KV yeah. motor. Mm -hmm. Guess what the prop is? Big. It's very big. It's a 12.6 prop. And uh, I think the term is ripping it. Yeah. It, it, it swings it effortlessly. No, that? not like that. That's gotcha. awkward. Okay. Why? Why didn't you cut these off here? This What's that? Piece? It looks kind of foam? That's shabby. a good point. That's a good point. There's a thing called incidents. You know what incidents is? Incidents? Incidents. I know what an incident is. I yeah. Used to, I used to have them when I was little. When you were a baby, right? Yep. Incidents is actually the relationship between your wing and your tail as far as parallel, okay? Basically what we did is we had to chop this down. We could have propped this up and actually let it meet nice and flush, mm -hmm. but you have a real high positive incident compared to the tail. And most likely it'd be fine like this and you'd have tons and tons of trim. Yeah. It'd just be awkward. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. Don't want that. It'd porpoise too. It, the high the high angle of attack, the, the plane would always be doing this. Porpoise. So what we did is we, uh, porpoise, yeah. Uh -huh. What we did is we actually put a little shim in there to bring that down. Gotcha. And we weren't sure how much we needed, so we used the foam block. And uh, the first guess was right, about a quarter inch. And okay. it was gold and we just left it in there. Cool. So good ice. Yeah, powering is a 2200 three cell, and it flies at roughly, I'm guessing about 20 minutes. Now you, you put your touch on this, didn't you? Yes. What did you do? Oh, I did lots of stuff. I, uh, here's your uh, wheels for it that we uh, ripped off of an RC car because we wanted some off-road wheels. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Franken plane is off-road. You want to keep it real. He's got his bolts, you know, his neck bolts. They don't serve a purpose, uh, you know. Aesthetics. It, yeah, just make them look good. Yeah. Absolutely. Frankenstein, Frankenstein, you following us here? Other than that, now inside what you can't see is we're actually running MI, uh, which is? Mission Impossible. No, Magnetic Induction Servos. Oh, so we're running Hobby S. King's Magnetic Induction Servos. My S. No, no, not yes. MIS, just MI. MI Servos. And MI. boy, are they nice. They're a little noisy, but super, super smooth. So real nice. And then the speed control is a 60 amp plush. Obviously, we love our plush. And love the combination is just fantastic. Okay. This flew so nice. It's going to be a great workhorse for flight test. Okay. I think we're going to well, have let's a take lot. it up. Yeah, want to do it? Yeah. Let's grab it. All right. Big boy. <laughs> All right, the weather is frightening. Yes. But it's Frankenplane. Yeah, it's kind of like Frankenstein came to life, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. What do you say Set we get in, in the air? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Nice takeoff. Thank you. Pull three or four feet. Yeah. This is a three channel airplane. It's not bank and yank, but with the polydihedral wing, it is super docile, right? Look at those beautiful clouds out there too. Holy <laughs> and, smoke. and lightning. Now it's, it's highly efficient. It's, it's very stable. This is just a pointer. If you have some parts of an airplane, don't throw them out yet. Slow speed's great. And let me show you a stall here. 
we go. It's almost like a dream. We got some rain coming in here. Yeah. But that's okay. Rain rained on. Yeah. And we got some dogs too. They're always here. Yeah. But very maneuverable. Very nice flying airplane. Nice. I'm honestly surprised that a combination of low wing, polydihedral glider wing uh, would perform this well, but it really does perform nicely. We, we created this. Yeah. Isn't that a cool feeling? Yeah. You, we actually put something together and made it fly, and it flies good. It's pretty awesome. It just shows if you, if you get the right ingredients in there, you know, anything can fly good. I mean, you can turn it right up on the wing tip, it doesn't Dude, stall out. Nice. Look at that. Very cool. It's awesome. Well, brother, do you want to try it? Uh, yeah, I'd like to give it a shot. You want me to get you a mistake high? Yeah. All right, now, if I say give it to me, just give it to me. Yes, sir. There you go. What do you think? Well, I'm scared because I'm flying right below a storm. Yeah, don't worry. Lightning will hit that far before it hits you. Now you're flying yeah, it does fly nice. Yeah, you're flying in some pretty decent wind, too, and it's really not bobbling around or anything. Yeah. It's good. You're gonna be putting some time on this, huh? Yeah, I think now, so. I'm seeing this cloud here is getting freakishly close to us. Do you want us to get it down? Yeah, let's get down and get inside where it's safe. Sounds good before it hits us. Here, yeah. I'll take it from you. Thank you, you go, friend. All right. Bring it around town. Around town. Nice. Don't tip. <laughs> there good. we go. We're good. Let's get it. Any you can walk away from, not get struck by lightning. Well, we got the lighter coming again. Well, unfortunately, we, you can't pick this up anywhere right now uh, because it's our own design. Yeah. And but, we haven't patented it yet either, so. But what you can do is go ahead and carefully keep your parts that are good. And you use them. With Russ CG. Yep. That's all you need. You know. can have a good Franken plane too. All right. Well, it's really getting rainy. So thanks you guys for watching. Thanks, yeah. Hobby King, for sponsoring this episode and making good parts that we can put in this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just keep subscribing. It's, Hobby King is a lot more than uh, planes. They're parts, and you can put parts in pretty much anything. Yes, and it's raining. So it's raining. Let's gotta, get out of here. Yeah, we got to go. See ya. See ya. Uh, Josh is going to be flying Frank and Plane. Yep. I'll be Chad, launching him and Chad's Chad will be, be uh, directing the uh, Kamikaze. Yep. And All right, Chad, I'm going to do 180 degrees and drop you. Okay, I'm ready. Bye bye. I'm coming in. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Flight.